Magic School Bus Flies the Nest from Scholastic. It's fun to be in Miss Frizzle's class. Her dress is wacky. Her shoes are wacky too. Even our bus is wacky. It's the Magic School Bus. Today we are learning about birds. Keisha and Carlos want to look at a robin's nest but they can't find a picture. We see robins in the spring. I don't see any. Back and forth by DA. Robins go south for the winter. They fly back in the spring. This is called migration. Wanda looks out the window. She sees two robins fly by. Let's take a trip, kids. We get on the magic school bus and off we go. Follow those birds. The two robins fly to the town park. We go there too. Look, a nest. What is a robin's nest made of by Tim? The nest is made of grass, strings, twigs, and mud. It takes a lot of mud. Then the robins put more grass inside the nest to make it soft. Carlos wants to see into the nest. He climbs the tree. Oops! Oh no! Carlos is falling on the nest. The nest will break. Carlos will break. Suddenly, Carlos is getting smaller. He lands softly in the nest. Carlos, my book says do not disturb bird nests. Too late. The bus changes. It takes us up. Now we can see eggs in the nest. We're in a nest too. It's the magic school nest. The mother bird sits on her eggs and keeps them warm. She sits on Carlos too. I am not an egg. We want to save Carlos, but we have to wait for the bird to finish nesting. We will have to wait for weeks. Time goes extra fast on Miss Frizzle's field trips. Nesting time by Keisha. In the nest, the eggs hatch and the babies grow up. This takes about four weeks. Inside the eggs, the babies get bigger. Two weeks later, they break out of the eggs. Peck, peck, peck. The babies are pink and bare and they are hungry. The father and mother bring food. Cheep, cheep, cheep. What do robins eat by Ralphie? They eat worms, bugs, and fruit, but worms are their favorite. The robins try to feed Carlos too. Carlos does not like worms. Cheep, 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 yuck. We drop Carlos's lunch. He catches it. Cheep, 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 yum. The big robins go to get more food. A blue jay comes to the nest. It tries to eat the baby birds. Let's scare the blue jay away. The blue jay isn't scared of us. The mother and father come back. They chase it away. Robins fight hard to save their babies. The little birds grow soft feathers. These are called down. Then they grow bigger feathers on their bodies. Long feathers grow on their wings. At last, it's time to fly. One by one, the young robins take off. Feather Facts by Carlos. Birds are the only animals that have feathers. Without their long wing feathers, birds could not fly. One baby doesn't want to go. The mother chirps. The baby bird flies up, up, up. How do birds learn to fly? They wing it. Now it's Carlos's turn. The robins chirp at him. I wish I could fly. Carlos does too. Carlos goes over the side of the nest. Then he goes down, down, down. Help! Miss Frizzle flies right under him. He lands in the magic school nest. Hi, Carlos. Thanks, everyone.
When the bus nest lands on the ground, it changes. Now it's our old bus again. We go back to school. The birds are going back to the nest and we're going back to school. Thank goodness. It was a great trip. Now we wonder where we'll go next. Look at Miss Frizzle's dress. It's a little spacey. Poor Carlos. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a nest and have to eat worms. What would you do if you were stuck in a robin's nest? Thanks for listening to Magic School Bus Flies the Nest.